Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Unreal Hero and today I have a comment response video for you guys. But real quick, I'd just like to thank everybody that requested this Valorant profile because it actually did turn out to be probably one of my best profiles I've ever made. So thank you guys so much. In the description of this video, as always, I will have a download link for you to go to my website and download this profile. But if you wanna see exactly how I made this in Synapse 3, then please stay tuned. I'm gonna show you guys just that. Also, if you like this content, please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And also make sure you click that bell icon so you don't miss out on future Razer keyboard lighting designs. We're going to get right into this one. This one is Valorant. All right, guys, here we go with the Valorant design. So we just started a fresh profile in Chroma's studio app. And if you don't have the studio app, you can go to the Synapse dashboard window here and you should see down here in modules where you can download studio so we're in the studio tab and we're going to start with our valorant design so to start this design i'm actually going to keep spectrum cycling i'm just going to double click on a highlighted key and delete the effects and now i'm just going to zoom in here and i'm just going to focus on the keyboard for this video and i'm going to highlight the bottom three rows here and i'm going to select my color drop down and I'm gonna choose this five node pattern right here to start with. And I'm going to drag this node over to the second node, just like this. And I'm gonna grab this fourth node here and I'm gonna drag that over close to this third one, just like that. And I'm actually gonna grab this one and pull that over, okay? And now I'm gonna add a new node and I'm gonna drag that close to here. So what you have is like four little sectors and there's th two nodes that divide each one. And for this first node right here, I'm going to make it a, a very dark gray. So I'm gonna use six Fs as a hex code to start. And then I'm just gonna, on this brightness meter, I'm gonna drag that way down dark. And I'm gonna copy this code that we made right here, this hex code. And I'm gonna paste that into the fourth node here, the fifth node, Right here, okay, so you can see your first and your third quarters of this gradient bar is dark gray. Now for the second node, I'm going to choose this cyan color right here, and I'm just gonna drag that a little bit more towards the green, and I'm just trying to replicate uh, the type of color that you see on the game. So right here, I decided to go with this. Here's my hex code for it. I'm gonna click on that, and I'm gonna copy that and I'm gonna paste that into my third node and my last node here, just like this. So you can see I have four sectors up here. So you got a gray and a light green, gray, light green. And now I'm just gonna go with the medium settings here and hit save. So now I just have a spectrum cycling color. I'm actually gonna double click on this and I'm gonna make it fast. This is gonna be fast, okay, and hit save. We're going with fast and that's all we're doing for this layer. Next, I'm going to add a wave effect. And here we're gonna make a custom fire type design. So with this new wave layer selected, I'm going to select my three bottom rows just like this. And here I'm gonna choose a three node pattern to start. So we have three nodes and with this center node here, I'm gonna make that center node invisible and I'm just gonna leave the end nodes black, okay? And I'm gonna click off of this window. And for my speed, I'm just gonna lower that down to 10. I'm gonna change my angle to about 26 degrees or somewhere in there. And now I'm just gonna click over here in the gray space just to deselect all of my keys. And now for for right now, I'm just gonna select my bottom row, my very bottom row. Hold control, and I'm gonna deselect like every third key, basically. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna change my angle up. Uh, I'm gonna angle it up at like one degree for this one. Change my width to 92. Maybe change my speed by one, so I'll make this 11. I'm gonna hold control again, and I'm gonna deselect every other key that I have left, like that. And now I'm just going to angle this over to the left here. 
uh, at about 302 and I'm gonna change my width percentage to 113 and I'm just kind of randomizing like every three keys so that it, it looks a bit different. Now on my second row, I'm gonna select those keys. I'm gonna click on my color gradient here and I'm just gonna drag the black nodes in a little bit that, okay? Click off of that and now I'm gonna hold control and deselect every third key I'm just gonna change up some some details here. Maybe change this angle to 342. Definitely change my speed to um, a little bit faster. So I'll do 13. Now I'm gonna hold control, deselect every other one. So we have these keys selected. And now I'm going to change some more details. So I'll change this over to about, oh, about 309. Make my width percentage about 91. So we have the first two bottom rows selected. Now the third row here, I'm gonna select those keys, click on my color drop down, and I'm really gonna close the black in around the, the invisible node here. Okay, the transparent node. And I'm going to click off of that. I'm gonna change my speed up to 15 and leave my angle here at around 26 to 30 or somewhere in there and hold control, deselect every third key. I'm going to change my angles around uh, 343, make my width percentage here 117, uh, hold control, deselect every other key, just like this, uh, change up my angles. I'm gonna turn this one to about 62, just, just trying to add some randomness. Uh, keep the speed, but I'm going to change my width to about 95. Okay, and I'll hit save. So now what we have down on the bottom of our keyboard is kind of a custom fire type or fire like uh, effect going on. So that's going to do it for the bottom of the keyboard. Next, I'm going to work on the letters of the design. So to create the letters is time consuming and really kind of complicated. So I'm only going to do a few letters for you, but to do the rest of the letters for this design, you just basically have to do the same thing um, down the line and you'll get it as I go. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a wave layer, change the name of this layer to V. And first things first, I'm going to hold control and I'm just going to start selecting some keys in the middle of my keyboard that make out the shape of a V. So here I have a V. I'm going to change my color drop down. And with this color drop down, I'm going to make a three node color right, right here. The first node is going to be invisible. The last node is also going to be invisible. And this middle node here, we're going to make red. And once we make that red, we're going to hit this addition symbol to copy it. And we're going to slide all of these nodes all over to the right. We're gonna click off of this window. We're gonna change our speed to four, and we're gonna change our angle to 180 degrees. Hey guys, in this video, I did not change my width percentage, but I highly recommend that you change it to 400% just to slow the design down a little bit. And that looks good there. I'm gonna click off of that. And so what we want to do with this wave layer is create that red light that shows up on all of these selected keys at the same time. And the way you do that is by changing each horizontal layer to be unique. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna hold control and I'm gonna deselect this bottom row here. And I'm going to come into the color drop down. I'm gonna click on this second node here and I'm gonna change the very last digit of my hex code by one. Now, all I'm going to do is just hold control, deselect the next row up come into my color drop down, click on my second node, and I'm gonna change the hex code again, make it different from the first two layers. So the first layer I had FF0000, this layer I had FF0001. This time I'm going to use FF0100. Hold control, deselect your next row, and make this row unique from the first three. Select your second node, click into your hex code and just change that last digit by one. So FF0101. Hold control, deselect your next row up, click on your color drop down, click on your second node, and we're just gonna change the second F to an E. 
and we'll hit save. So now you can see in the middle of my keyboard here, all of the lighting lights up at the same exact time and that's exactly what we want. So if we keep the keyboard like this, it doesn't really make that V pop like I want it to. So I'm going to outline it with white lighting and we have to do that the same way we did the red. So I'm just going to select this bottom highlighted key that we changed here and I'm gonna control C to copy that effect and I'm gonna click onto this key next to it, the one that isn't highlighted in green, and I'm gonna hold control, and I'm gonna select every key that outlines the effect that we just made. So it's gonna outline that V that we just made, just like this. Paste in that red effect layer, and I'm gonna click into my color dropdown with these selected, and I'm gonna change both of these two middle nodes to white. So six Fs is a hex code, and six Fs as a hex code for your middle two nodes. And now we're gonna do the same thing that we did with the red. We're just going to hold control, deselect the bottom row right here. So all of the lighting zones that are on this horizontal line. Click in your color dropdown. We're gonna choose our second white node right here. And we're gonna make the last digit in this hex code an E. So we're just changing that value by one digit. Hold control, deselect the next row up, click into your color dropdown, select your second node. We're gonna make it F, 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 E, F, F. Okay, so the fourth digit is an E. Hold control, deselect the next row up, click in your color dropdown, click into your second white node. We're gonna make the very last digit this time an E. Hold control, deselect the next row up, click on our second color node here, and we're gonna make this one F-E, F-E, F-E. So every single horizontal line is unique because our angle is at 180 degrees and these are all unique, they actually come on at the same exact time. And that's gonna do it for our first letter. So next what we're gonna do to make the A is we're going to first copy the des one of the effect layers that we created in this design. So I'm just gonna choose the M key here, make a new wave layer, and I'm gonna name this new wave layer to A. And with this A wave layer selected, I'm going to hold control and select out the shape of my letter A that I'd like to be on my design. So these are the keys that I'm gonna use for my letter A, and I'm just gonna paste in that red effect that we use for the V. And this just gives me a placeholder of where we ended the letter V at. So with this drop down color, we're gonna delete the right node and we're gonna delete this first red node that you see on the right side here. So we have an invisible node and a red node. So next we're gonna make this red node invisible and this invisible node we're gonna make red. Now we're gonna hit this addition symbol to copy that red, drag that in close to that hit that addition symbol one more time, drag that in, and this node on the end, we're gonna make invisible. So now, because this is slightly down the color gradient from the previous one, this will light up red right after the V does, which allows us to start spelling the word Valorant on your keyboard. You don't really see it yet because each horizontal line isn't unique, so we're gonna make it unique. So we're gonna hold Control, and we're gonna deselect this bottom row here, click on our color dropdown, click this second red node, and we're gonna make this last digit a one, just like this, just like we did with the V. Hold control, deselect the next row up, click our color dropdown, click the second red node, and we're gonna change this fourth digit to a one, and we're gonna make that last digit a zero. So you got FF0100, hold control, Deselect the next row up, click our color drop down, click that, click that second node, make our last digit a one, hold control, deselect the next row up, click our color drop down, click this red second node, and we're going to make the second digit here an E. And by doing that, you make each row unique, so now you can see the V lights up and then also the A. So we're gonna do the same thing and we're gonna outline the A with white. So click on your B key here or one of the keys that you made this red effect on. 
hit control C on it. And now we're just gonna hold control and select all of the keys that outline our letter A. So just like this, I'm outlining my letter A. I'm gonna paste in that red effect we made, click my color drop down, and I'm gonna make these two middle nodes white. So my right node's white, click on my left middle node, and we're gonna make that white. Now that we've changed that white, all I have to do is hold control, deselect my bottom row here, click my color drop down, click my second node here, and we're gonna change that last digit to an E. Hold control, click my next row up, so I've deselected all of the keys that are on this row, click my color drop down, click my second node, and I'm gonna make my fourth digit an E, and make my last digit back to an F. So you got FF, FE, FF. Hold control, deselect the next row up, click my color drop down, click my second white node, change my last digit to an E. Hold control, deselect the next row up, click my color drop down, click the second white node here, and we're gonna make the second digit here an E. So you got F, E, F, E, F, E. And now you should see when the wave begins to start over again, it will light my keyboard up with a V, and then immediately after the V, it'll light it up with an A. So V, A. So that is all you have to do to start spelling the word Valorant. You just have to repeat it over again. Make sure you start a new wave layer and always copy the layer you created previously. And you're just gonna do this each time until you spell out the word Valorant. And I'm gonna skip ahead and I'll show you guys what that looks like. So once you finish all of your letters for the word Valorant, you should have an effect layer on the left side for each letter. And I had to change my the name of my second A to an A2 because it won't let you name uh, two layers the same name. Also, I didn't like how fast the design was, so I actually changed my width percentage, as you can see here with my V. I changed my width percentage to 400%, and that just slows things down quite a bit. Next, I'm going to add an audio meter layer. I'm gonna click on that audio meter, and with this new audio meter selected, I'm gonna hold control, and I'm just gonna select all of the keys that are in this general area besides this bottom key. I'm gonna select all of the keys that are right here and I'm going to click on my color drop down. and I'm gonna use this two node pattern right here on the end. On this left node, I'm gonna make the hex code 000001. And on the right, I'm gonna do the same thing, 000001. So what happens is when there's audio, all of these keys will go black, okay? At any sound of audio, all of these keys go black. And now I'm gonna click off of those keys. I'm gonna hold control and I'm gonna select out the shape of the letter V that I originally made. So here, still in the audio meter layer, I've selected out the shape of the V that I made and I'm gonna click on the color drop down. And I'm actually gonna, on this left node here, I'm gonna make this red. I'm gonna hit add and I'm gonna slide this over here, and I'm going to make this right node here also red. So I'm gonna leave this red node over here on the end. This first node here that's red, I'm gonna click on that, and I'm gonna actually make this a really dark red, okay? As audio picks up and gets higher, it will get brighter. So we're gonna hold Control, and we're gonna deselect the bottom row here, and we're just gonna click on our color drop down, and we're going to change this node in the middle to go up a little bit, just like this. Okay, so we're gonna make this move to the right. We're gonna click on our first node, hit the addition symbol, and drag this new node right next to it. So we have dark red on the left with some red, brighter red over here on the right. So what we're making is an audio meter in the shape of a V in the middle of our keyboard. We're gonna hold control, deselect the next row up, click our color drop down, drag this node right here over to the right a bit more, drag that over, hold control, deselect the next row up, click our color drop down, drag that over a bit more, drag that over, hold control, deselect the next row up, click our color drop down and drag it over a little bit more. 
and that's going to finish off our audio meter. Real quick at the bottom of this V that we started with, just like this, I'm gonna hold Control C and I'm gonna select the keys that are gonna outline our letter V. So I'm gonna choose these keys right here and I'm gonna click on my color drop down on the audio meter. I'm gonna make this left node white and I'm gonna delete these two middle nodes and I'm gonna make the right node white. So now that we have the audio meter effect done, we actually have a wave layer that's spelling out the word Valorant, but anytime there's audio that's played, it blacks out that area so that you don't see that spelling anymore and it just makes that shape of the V and as audio plays and gets louder, the color of the V will actually create an audio meter within it and it's just gonna get brighter red and I'll show you guys what that looks like right here. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like the video, please hit that thumbs up button. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget about that bell icon so you don't miss out on future Razer keyboard lighting designs. Also guys, please, if you have any great ideas, please leave a comment in the comment section below and tell me what you wanna see on a Razer keyboard. I'd really like to know. Some of the more unique ideas I definitely wanna try and do for you guys, so please, don't be scared. Leave a comment down below. That's going to do it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks. <music>